As you guys all know, I went to Disney World with a part of my family, and I even already made a vlog about our first day there. But the rest of the trip, I really didn't worry about filming a ton, and I didn't want to stress about bringing my camera in the parks every single day. But even though I don't have a vlog for you guys about the rest of the trip, I still wanted to make a video about everything we did. So in today's video, I'm going to be going through each day with some pictures and short videos I have, as well as showing you guys every single thing I bought at Disney. I know this is a different style of video, but I hope you still enjoy, and let's get right to it. Day one at Disney, and that's what the vlog is all about, so I'm not going to go into too much detail about everything we did. But I will show you guys everything I bought the first day. First off, we got this Mickey Mouse hat. And it's from Nike. It's pretty good quality and it's comfortable. If I get on my head. There we go. We also got this Monsters University hat. Which has the little, like, tear part from the movie. And this one is just straight from Disney, obviously. Pretty clean as well. I don't have a blue hat, so there we go. And then to match my Monsters University hat, I got my Magic Band as Monsters University theme as well. And this is actually the Magic Band Plus, so it like lights up during the fireworks shows and then like vibrates at certain times. The main point of the Magic Band really is just to like get in the parks more efficiently and get into some rides more efficiently through like the Genie Plus thing. If you know what I'm talking about, you know. If you don't, don't worry about it. This was like 20 extra bucks though than the normal Magic Bands and it was not worth it, but... Oh well. Day two now, which is way more exciting, and this day we went to Epcot. Starting off the day, we went on the Ratatouille ride, which was pretty fun. It's really unique because it's a trackless ride, so you never know where you're going during it. After that, we went on Frozen, which was an absolute banger because Let It Go started playing during part of the ride, and I was just vibing. Then we went on Guardians of the Galaxy, which was really cool. It was like Space Mountain, but 10 times better. And the music in it was just such a vibe, just like Frozen. So they were both a vibe. Then we ended up eating in Mexico and I had some tacos and we went on the log flume ride in Mexico. It's pretty short, but it's still kind of fun. Also, if you're confused, Epcot just has a ton of themed areas of like different countries. So when you're there, you can like travel around the world. I didn't actually go to Mexico. We ended up riding every single ride super quickly. There's a lot of rides I didn't mention, but we literally rode everything. And then after that, we went throughout all the countries and I ate so much food. I feel like I ate in like every country. I had some Belgian waffles, some pot sticker things, dumplings. I had this thing in France where they squished ice cream between like two things of bread. I don't even know what it was, but it was so good. And I probably ate more, but I don't even remember. Also in like the middle of the day, I got this ice cream sandwich, which was shaped like Mickey Mouse. So that was hype. Ending the night, I got some pictures of the Epcot ball lit up. We went on Frozen again, and then we got ready to watch the fireworks. The fireworks show lasted about 20 minutes, and it was super cool with obviously the fireworks, lights, music, and just everything else involved. Then we rode Guardians of the Galaxy one more time, and then left. And at Epcot, I surprisingly bought nothing. Day three was a more chill day. We went to the water park Typhoon Lagoon, and it was amazing because everything was just a walk-on. So while my mom and my brother's girlfriend were just relaxing, me and my brother literally just rode everything a ton. And they had this wave pool, which is actually the largest in North America. So here's a video of me and my brother getting hit by one of the waves. After we went to the water park, we then went to the Polynesian Hotel and we went to this bar. It was super cool. It was smaller. And then every time someone would order a drink, something would happen in the bar. Like there was this one drink that people would order and that volcano on that screen would start erupting and the whole room would turn red. From there then, the trip got weird. There was a hurricane going directly towards Florida. Now we were in Orlando because that's where Disney is. So it's not as dangerous, but it still is a little dangerous because the high winds and stuff. We knew it was going to hit Wednesday night into Thursday. Thursday morning and ended up closing the parks both those days and we had to stay in our hotel room a lot of the time because obviously there was a hurricane. So that night we actually went to Disney Springs because that was also closed the next two days. It's a part of Disney and we didn't know if we would get another chance to go back. There I ended up buying this crew neck which is super comfortable. These PJs which are also super comfortable and this Lego to entertain myself during the hurricane. Day four now which is hurricane day number one. We actually went out in the morning just for fun. The hurricane wasn't hitting yet. It was just windy and a little little rainy. At 3 then we had to be in our hotel, so from there we ended up watching Disney movies, we watched Monsters Inc, 
cars and cars 2 and this is when i built my entire lego as you can tell in this picture i was super focused up and that was pretty much day four day five which is day number two of the hurricane and i don't even remember what we did this day but it turns out we went out in the morning because the hurricane passed all the way through there was some damage, but mainly the walkways were just messy and the streets were just messy. We then chilled in the hot tub and pool for a while. It was nice that those things were open. And then we ate at our hotel. And as you can tell from this picture, I was super happy. I was just trolling that picture. But to be honest, day five was pretty boring. Day six, which was finally a normal day again. And this was my favorite day because we went to Hollywood Studios. Starting off the day, we got on some rides super quickly. We went on Tower of Terror, Rock and Roller Coaster, and Mickey and Minnie's runaway railway those rides were all super fun towers here with the drops rock and roller coaster we actually got to sit front row and then a mickey and minnie's runaway railway it's another trackless ride so it's like super unique then we went to toy story land which makes it feel like you're in annie's backyard and we ended up eating there and we rode the slinky dog ride which is really fun for how small it is toy story land was great but going to star wars galaxy edge was for sure the best part we spent so long here and it seriously makes you feel like you're not even at disney anymore first in galaxy's edge we pretty much just walked around and checked everything out everything was just so cool and so detailed then we got to ride the rise of the resistance which was for sure the best ride it had like three showrooms before you even got on the ride and then on the ride it was another trackless one just like ratatouille and mickey and minnie's runaway railway but it was a hundred times better because it was star wars after that me and my brother built our lightsabers which i think was my favorite part of the whole trip it was like a movie step by step building it until we all gotta light them up and once everyone lit it up it was just cool looking around the room and seeing everyone's unique lightsaber also we each got a pin before building our lightsaber which is just as cool as a lightsaber to be honest and in the store i bought two kyber crystals so with these i could take apart my lightsaber and then take my blue kyber crystal out then i could put this green one in and then we just put it back together and now it's green and i could make it purple but i'm gonna put the blue one back in it because I like keeping it blue. Right after the lightsabers, I built a droid, which is a lot lamer than building the lightsaber, but it was still fun. You pretty much just pick five different parts for your unit and then assemble them. And I ended up pretty much building R2-D2, but with a purple head. But look, it could drive. Yeah, you wish you had one. Oh, also his name, my brother's girlfriend named him, is r 2 v 2 we twos for we fit. Okay, so R2 We Too, should you not subscribe to the YouTube? Oh, here's what he sounds like too. Let's see if this picks up. <laughs> yeah, he's wildin', bro. After those two things, we went to Oga's Cantina, and just like everything else in Galaxy Edge, it felt like you were actually there, and we got some cool drinks. On our way to do something else, we saw some Stormtroopers and Kylo Ren as well, and then later slash middle of the day, I think we just shopped and walked around a bit. Then getting into the night, everything looked sick. We walked around the main area of Hollywood Studios more, and then went back into Toy Story Land and Galaxy's Edge, which looked even cooler than they did in the day. As it was getting to the point where the park was closing soon, me and my brother rode these alien flying saucer things in Toy Story Land, and then we rode Rise of the Resistance one more time. And before we left the park, I bought this stuffed animal of an Ewok. Day seven was probably my second favorite day because this was when we went to Magic Kingdom. With Magic Kingdom, I don't really remember everything we rode in order. We started off with Winnie the Pooh because the Seven Dwarfs ride broke down, and then we just went all over the place riding everything because there's so many different rides. The best rides we rode earlier in the day, though, were for sure Splash Mountain, and Pirates of the Caribbean. Also, I got another Mickey Mouse ice cream. I promise I liked it. I just don't like random pictures. Me and my brother rode these teacups as well just for no reason, and we thought it was a good idea to just try to spin it super fast, but after a tiny bit, it was bad. As it got later in the day, we went on Space Mountain, which was super fun, but also actually kind of scary. Space Mountain's a dark ride, and it pretty much just weaves through all the track in a building to, like, save the most space and it always feels like you're gonna hit another piece of track especially because while we were going up the lift to start the ride you go through a little tunnel and me and my brother tried to touch the ceiling and we could touch it so we were kind of like 
They don't measure for this stuff. So what happens if we could actually hit our hand on part of the track? Also, they had a fireworks show at Magic Kingdom just like Epcot, but I think this one was better than Epcot because there was projections in the castle as well as the lights, music, and fireworks. And that one was just so fun. They were both good though. After the fireworks, the park was still open for like another hour and a half. We didn't stay all the way till it closed, but we zoomed over to Splash Mountain and rode it one more time. And I bought this shirt. Day eight now, which is our final day in our Animal Kingdom day. Animal Kingdom was fun, but there's just so little to do there. Right in the morning, we went to Pandora and rode Flight of Passage and then Navi's River Journey. The Pandora area is for sure the coolest part of Animal Kingdom and Flight of Passage is for sure the best ride at Animal Kingdom and maybe even one of the top rides that I rode through the whole trip, but it's not beating Rise of Resistance. Flight of Passage, though, was crazy how real it felt, and it was kind of scary riding a Banshee from Avatar. After that, we went on the Safari, which was cool, but a little long. Then we went on Everest like three times because it's the only big ride there. And then we ate some food at one point. Once we were done eating, we went to the Lion King show, which was actually pretty cool. And then we went to Dino Land, and I won this dinosaur from one of the carnival games. It was that one where you throw those little plastic balls into either cups or little holes, and if you get it in a colored one, it correlates to a certain prize. There's a picture right there to actually show you. I'm sorry, I'm bad at explaining. We were gonna ride the dinosaur ride as well before we left, but sadly it was down. Not gonna lie, I was so tired at Animal Kingdom and I wasn't feeling the greatest, but I still wanted to get through everything and it was still fun. After Animal Kingdom, we hung up by the pool for a little bit and then we caught our flight home and this is how my night ended. And there you guys go. That was my entire trip at Disney. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to everything we did and looking at some of the pictures and videos we took. This was such a fun trip, but one thing is next time we go, we'll have to plan it when there's not a hurricane. I'm joking. It's just something we can't control and everything still worked out. I know this video was a little different because it was just me storytelling and not an actual vlog, but if you still did enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe if you haven't already, and check out all the socials in the description. Also, I'm live on Twitch every day of the week besides Sunday at 3 p.m. Central Time. So if you ever want to catch me live, I would really appreciate it. And yeah, I love you all. I will see y'all next time. I hope you have a good rest of your day or night and goodbye.